Hi guys, this is Hai Kumar Kurtiwada. In this video, we will learn about lazy loading with modular approach. In my previous video, I have explained about lazy loading with standalone components. Here, we will focus on the normal components by using different types of modules and creating the multiple modules in our Angular project. So, let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. Here, I have created a app routing. If you go into app routing, there is something called as app routing.module.ts. Here, you can see all our normal components which are not lazy loaded. I have explained about lazy loading and the problems with lazy loading in my previous video. I will provide the link in the description. Please watch that for better understanding. Now, what we will do is, we will not use this component directly. Instead, we will create some other modules for each and every component and from there we will try to inject these components and we will lazy load this particular modules. For example, you have a login and I want to make this login as a lazy loading. So for that sake, let me go into the terminal and create one module called as ng generate module and the module name is login module and I want routing. So hyphen hyphen routing and hit enter. So it will create a module with a routing file. If you see here, two new files has been created. One is routing file and one is module file. If you go to the module file, you have login routing module. And now this routing will be a child routing for us. And who is our parent routing? It is created in our app routing module and it is injected in app module. If you go to app module, here we have app routing module. And from here, it will load all these routing modules. What we will do is instead of using this component directly, now we will inject that in our login module. Let me go to login module and create a login component in the declarations and save this. If you go to the node and if you see nothing happened, let me quit this and rerun because we are creating a new module. Let me hit ng serve and now we will be getting one error the login component is registered in two modules but now we are not facing that issue why because we didn't created our routing with our module so let me comment this and if you want to load a component from its module then you can use something called as load children so now for us the children is login module and it is also an arrow function and inside this arrow function it will take an import statement and this import statement will point to our module dot slash login slash login module go to login module and it will give a promise based output so now inside this promise bed I'll get a module and from this I'll get a module dot login module and save this now you can see we got one error that is the component login component is declared by more than one module if you remember I have discussed about this modules in my one of the video in this angular tutorial list I'll provide the link in the description about the modules please watch that for better understanding now you can create and register a particular component only in one particular module now here the case is we have created in the app module as well as login module so for that sake let me go to app module and remove this this login component from here so that now it will be registered only in login module if you go and see let me save this file and save this file so you are seeing that login component is registered in both the modules so let me quit this and rerun because we are changing in the modules so whenever we are changing the modules it may not reflect immediately so that's why I'm quitting it and running the application now it has been successfully compiled let's see whether this login component is lazy loaded or not before that if you go to login module we need to configure our child route so if you go to the login routing module here we have routes and inside these routes I need to give a default path or you can give an empty path whenever you give a path as an empty and the component is login component because I don't have any other module I have direct to component so that's why I'm giving the direct component if you want to lazy load one more module again you can use load children and then 
use your module and from there you can import your component so this is my component which is a child component and if you see the parent the parent URL is login so now whenever we hit the URL as login then it will go into this module and it will go into this routing and inside this it will take the default path here the default path is login component let me go here and go to default path which is register and if you see the webpack and SRC and app the login is not loaded but the dashboard not found register has been loaded we are in the register page so register has been loaded but why, what is the purpose of loading not found and dashboard because they are not lazy loaded now what I'll do is just click on this login so the dashboard has been loaded and if you change this URL of a button so let me go into app.component.com TS when the user clicks on login so what I'll do is I'll just pass it to login page and save this go here let me reload and click on login button now it went to login button if you check the web pack the login has been added here because it is loaded on demand basis once you trigger that URL then it has been logged in now for example if you have a path of routing where you need to have login slash some ID so for example I want login with some ID that means the second parameter is ID but before this routing we have a login route that means this one so it will be followed for the sub childs that means this login path will be followed to your login module and it will be triggered in your routing and here the URL will be colon ID for example if you are sending a dynamic value then in that case what will happen is this path will point to login slash ID that means it is followed by the parent path so what is my parent path here if you see that is my login if you go to app.component.ts just you can use one more parameter one two three and save this now when the user is in the register let me go to register and it is not lazy loaded okay and if you give just a login for example I gave only login then it will go to not found that means it is not found the login path is found but its corresponding component is not found when it will be found when you have an ID for that so you can see login works and when the user clicks on register this has been loaded let me reload go to your SRC in the SRC you are not seeing login component because it is lazy loaded let me click on this and now the lazy loading has been triggered and you are able to see all my login related stuff so let me go back and now I'll make all this dashboard not found register as lazy loading so how can we make that just go here and create ng generate module I'm giving the same name if you are not giving the same name it will create one more folder for us but I want to keep all that modules and routings in my component itself so that's why I'll use the same name dashboard hyphen hyphen routing and hit enter whenever you create a module in this fashion it will check the folder name with the same module name or not if it is there then it will go and insert that files here otherwise it will create a new folder for us so now dashboard is created let me create all the remaining things like register let me go to register and hit enter so it will create in the register folder and now let me create in the not found let me go to not found and hit enter it will create in not found now we don't want to register anything in our app module because we want to create all our components as lazy loading let me remove all this and also its dependencies so let me remove all these dependencies and go to your routing and frame the components so instead of using this components directly what I'll use is I'll use load children and import with dot slash register slash register module and dot then with a module and this module will have register module this module can be anything because this module scope of this module will only be in this then so let me go here even I want to make the dashboard load children and import with dot slash dashboard slash dashboard module and dot then of module implies module dot dashboard module save this and now go to not found load children 
and import of dot slash not found slash not found module and then dot then of module implies module dot not found so let me go to individual modules and register their respective components let me go to the register module and here i want to register the component now register component save this and uh, then go to your routing module here and let's make a default path that is empty and whenever it is empty that means prefixed with the parent path it will have register component and now let me go to one more module that is dashboard register with dashboard component and then go to dashboard routing and create your default path which will take the parent path as dashboard and the component is dashboard component save this and save this now let me go to not found not found module go here and let me give not found component and go to not found routing inside this routes let me give a default path which is empty and the component is not found let me use not found component and save this now go to your node just quit this because we have inserted many modules let me rerun this now everything was loaded and if you see here all the lazy loaded are made into chunks if you are not using lazy loading all the components will be loaded in one particular chunk so let me go to the browser and now let me re refresh this now you got the register if you go to the webpack inside the webpack you have a component called as only register because we are in the register page when you go to login you will find only login component and whenever you are going to the dashboard for example you are going into some random number one two three four five and hit enter it is not found and it has been reloaded now so for that sake let me go here if you see only not found is loaded because it is reloaded so in this way we can lazy load all our components by using modular level now this is a sample routing which is not having any nested routes for example if you have any nested nested routes how to manage that how to navigate from one page to another page we will see deeper routings and also a enhanced routings in our angular project in the upcoming series in the upcoming videos and also we will see what is the difference and which is the best approach to use either a standalone or a modular level and make a clear point from angular 15 only you can use a standalone imports and standalone lazy loading but before 14 all the angular versions are only supporting this modular level hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you